Guys, and welcome back to the Aero League Racing's Tier 2 Drivers in Round 8, Race 2. So this is the feature race, the Endurance. Obviously, as you should know by now, it's a reverse grid based on the previous race results. So the results from the sprint race. So we got Forkine, Forkin, Forkine. He's going to line up on pole. Slimmy is in second place. We got Just Filthy is in third. We got Tieps in fourth. Chris is fifth. Skinzy is in sixth. We got Simon K seventh. Ben is eighth. Syndra is in ninth. Giles is tenth. SV5 eleventh. Riaba is twelfth. The dude is 13th and Joe Royal, last but not least, in 14th. So without further ado, let's get into it. And obviously, as you should know by now as well, this is a rolling start. And they're off. And uh, nobody getting a notable start over the rest of the field really just feel for having a tiny look up the inside of Slimmy but not quite close enough to go for the move so Forkine he's going to take that first position through turn one he's coming off the inside early a little light to Slimmy who may be going for a move up into turn two and he actually he has managed to get it done so that was a great move there from Slimmy that was almost textbook Forkine dropping to second place He's still there though, he's still close enough to be able to fight for that first position. Just filthy, not too far behind in third. Oh, Forkine not quite close enough to go for the move that time round. Just filthy starting to creep up onto him now as well, so he may be at risk of losing that position to his teammate. He was looking up the inside there, it was just filthy. So we've got the two RX Vision boys, second and third currently. We've got Tieps in fourth, and then we've got the two Peugeot boys, fifth and sixth, Skinzy and Chris. Looks like we've got somebody going for a move up ahead. Four kind. It looks like he's pulled out to the inside, trying to go up the inside of Just Filthy. Is he going to take that position? He's managed to get it done. Yes, he has. Just Filthy trying to get the cut back though. He's come up alongside him. Is it going to be a drag race? It is. It's going to be a drag race up to turn two. Oh, Just Filthy looking at the inside. He's managed to get it done again. Although no, Forkine just ahead still. He's managed to stay ahead for the meantime, but just filthy still all over his bumper. He's going to have a look up the inside again. It's just filthy. He's not going to be close enough that time round. Oh, big moment for Forkine. He almost lost it. He managed to hold it. That was a great save, but he's lost that momentum now. Just filthy surely going to get through. And they're still side by side. Through turn four into turn five. And six. Just filthy. Has just managed to edge ahead. Forkine's still there though. He's still trying to re-challenge for that second position. He's got Tieps there as well though. Tieps and Skinzy for company. And Slimmy, Slimmy, he's just running off of it again. He's up in first place. He's created a bit of a gap. He's got the fastest lap currently of a 129.3. Just filthy. Currently second place, but he's picked up a penalty. He's got a 0.5 second penalty, so he is surely going to lose that position to Forkine again. Skinzy's there in fourth place as well. Big gaggle forming in the background. Oh, Forkine, he's managed to get it done already. Oh, no contact between him and Skinzy. And he's, oh, he's managed to save it, but. So Skinzy now up to second place. You've got Just Filthy there in the background. But he has got that 0.5 second penalty, which he will be serving shortly. So I think he's going to lose that position to Simon K. We'll stay on board for just a second. 
SV5, SV5 has made his way through. He's up to fourth place. Just managing to edge ahead of Simon K through the last sector. Coming up to the final sector now. Through the penultimate penel turn. Now they're through the final turn. Onto the start finish. So just filthy now under pressure from SV5. SV5 looking like he's going to be trying to go for a move. Absolutely pushing filthy through that first turn. But Simon K now under attack from Chris. He's pulled alongside him almost. Simon K covering off the inside. And he's managed to keep that position that time round. Chris under attack now from Tieps though. Tieps is there, looming. So your top six, Slimmy, Skinzy, Just Filthy, SV5 fourth, Simon K fifth, Chris is sixth currently. And then we got Tieps all over the back of Chris in seventh. Forkine, unluckily, down to 8th. He's also got a penalty. Syndra as well. Syndra with a second's worth of penalty. I'm not sure what he got that for. Maybe a cumulative track limits. Yeah, they both serve them penalties there. Giles is going to move through to 8th place. Forkine with a moment in the background again. It's going to allow Syndra through, isn't it? Surely he's managed to keep it on the track. He's a master of saving the car, but he doesn't want to keep having those little moments. And Syndra has got through easily. So Syndra up to ninth place now. Forkine taking a bit of a deeper line through there. He's going to lose that place to the dude as well, is he? The, the dude, the dude, come on, man. The dude. He's just wiped Forkine out and just driven off. Forkhorn now struggling to get a car back on the road. I think the stewards will probably be having a look at that one. So Syndra up to ninth. He's now free to attack Giles, who is in fact attacking Chris up ahead. Is Chris trying to defend there against Giles? Trying to stay on the back of TFs as well. He's there in sixth place. He's also putting Simon K under immense pressure now. Again, another train forming in this in this race here. Round four. No, round eight, sorry, race two. So Skinzy. He's currently in second. But he's got a little bit of work to do to catch up with Slimmy, who's currently in first place. He's got that whole three seconds worth of penalty. He must have... I don't know if he cut the track limit somewhere or possibly cross. Normally you'd get that for crossing the, uh, the pit line, but he doesn't look like he's been in the pits. Anyway, Skinzy still currently second place. He's having a cracking race at the moment, it's Skinzy. Managing to keep it ahead of SV5 at the moment. SV5 currently the fastest guy on track with a 128.9. And that was his lap previous to this one. So he's on a little bit of a charge now as SV5. Let me check in where... So many other guys are as well, so just filthy is there in fourth place. We've got Tieps in fifth. Syndra is up to sixth now. 
He's managed to get past Simon K. Simon K. Drop on a seventh. He's got Chris behind him for company in eighth. Gillies, Gilles, or Giles is there in ninth. Riaba, Riaba's tenth. We've got a dude in eleventh and Joe Royal in twelfth, and it looks like. The other chap who was on the end of uh, the dude's nose has retired. So we're down to 12 drivers. As I say, I think that incident may possibly be under investigation. I think maybe the dude thought perhaps that uh, I can't remember who it was, but they were going to ghost, and yeah, I was unlucky. So Joe Royal, he managed to take the win in the first one, didn't he? And a great win that was, but he's struggling now to find his way through the pack. Maybe strategy will come to play in this one though. He's still got. Still got a long time to do so, and he's not too far off the back of the pack, so... Slimmy, that gap that he created has come down now somewhat. He did off that three seconds worth of penalty, didn't he? But you can see Skinzy and SV5 now. You can definitely see him in his mirror. SV5 trying to go the long way round through turn two. Skinzy holding him off. On the approach to three. skinsy has got the inside for this one. SV5 not going to be able to go around the outside. Can he go for the cutback? Oh, he was looking for it. He was looking for it. I think he just glanced off of Skinzy's rear right quarter panel. He's putting Skinzy under all sorts of pressure now. Almost side by side for that last couple of turns. Definitely one of the closest battles on track at the moment. Was that a tiny bit of contact there? I'm not sure. SV5 still all over the back of Skinzy. Skinzy doing all he can to try and make that Peugeot as wide as he possibly can. He's showing him the long way round again. He's going to hug that inside into turn one. Oh, SV5. No, SV5. He had a moment. It's not cost him too much. Oh, it has cost him. He's got a 1.5 second penalty for track limits. A little bit harsh, I feel, but... What can you do? He had already lost some momentum, hadn't he? Because he lost control of the car momentarily. Great save there, though, from SV5. It was just unfortunate to be slammed by that penalty. Currently on the podium, but he's going to have his work cut out. He'll stay with him just until he serves that penalty. See how far he drops down the pack, if any. And there we go, he's serving it now. So is just filthy going to manage to get through? And I think he is, yes. He takes it easily. Got the inside for the penultimate turn. They're coming up to the final turn now. SV5 having a look though. And he's managed to get it done. So fair play. Just filthy. He's having a look now though. Almost managing to get it done. SV5 he managed to keep it.
battle for third place really starting to heat up now. SV5 and just filthy, they're going to have TFs to contend with soon as well. And not too far behind TFs, we've got Syndra, Syndra and Jules, Giles, Jules, Giles. Syndra looking like he didn't get a better run out of that last turn. Giles managing to edit edge ahead before turn one. Syndra looking a little bit on the back foot at the moment. In fact, Giles, Giles is on softs, Syndra's on mediums. So different different strategies for these two teammates. Syndra playing the long game, it looks like. I think fuel is definitely going to be a factor in this one though. So Chris, Chris is up to 6th, 8th. Uh, about 2 seconds, 30 seconds behind 6th at the moment. Simon K is there in 9th. We've got Riaba 10th. The dude. He's there in 11th place, and Joe still in 12th. Not really managing to make any headway in this second race. Absolutely on fire in the first one though, wasn't he? As he just picks up a whole seconds worth of penalty for track limits and we see our first person enter the pits so that's Syndra, Syndra is into the pits Slimmy has stayed out on them worn softs just over a quarter of a tank of fuel left it's favouring track position at the moment It's nice to see the lobby definitely a lot more stable this week. Slimmy, he's not bouncing around anymore. Putting in fairly consistent 129s as well. Giles with the fastest lap at the moment of a 128.5. Oh no, Slimmy with a big moment. Has he managed to hold it? I think he may lose that position. Where is he? He's lost that position, Skinzy, Skinzy, new race leader. He's going to lose it to SV5 as well. Oh, Slimmy, that's unlucky. So Skinzy moves through to first place. He's going to stay out for another lap. We might have seen Slimmy dive into the pits there. That may have been his opportunity. SV5, he's up to second place. He's also on softs. Done pretty well to uh, conserve him though, and that fuel. Still just over a quarter of a tank. Skinzy has got less than quarter. So maybe, maybe able to go for the overcut. Slowly approaching 19 minutes in. And it looks like the sun is starting to set. The Skinzy have an absolute cracking race at the moment. Be interested to see where he pits. 
currently up to first place. Riava's just peeled into the pits. He's going to be getting rid of them mediums. So we've got Giles now up to third place. Not too far behind. SV5, he will be pitting after this lap. He's not going to manage to make that fuel last any longer. Hopefully he won't run out before the end of this lap. That would be tragic. Just feel free, not too far behind him in fourth place. really able to uh, to go for a move at the moment he can start setting one up he's got TFs for company not too far behind him in fifth Simon K he's there in sixth he's on the mediums just under a quarter of a tank left so I imagine he'll get a few more laps out of that Chris on the soft season seventh. I think you could get maybe a lap or two more as well. Slimmy. County eighth. Still choosing to stay out, so <clears throat> it's gonna make a position up there, he'll be up to seventh. Joe Royal, he's actually up to ninth. I think that's courtesy of some of the earlier pitters. Syndra, currently 10th. He's actually pit already, so on fresh softs. Got more fuel on board, and he's moved up to 8th. Giles will come out in ninth place. Simon, he's going to come out in tenth. And then we've got Riaba. <clears throat> he's already pitted. He's on some fresh softs. He's got some more fuel. He's eleventh. Dude, he's twelfth. Also on some fresh softs. So Skinzy, Skinzy, surely he's going to pit this time round, and he has. He's dived into the pits there. SV5, he can stay out for a little bit longer. I think he'll be put in next time around. I said he may choose to go for the overcut. That is what he is attempting at the moment. He's going to have to make this next lap a very fast one. Though he's not really too much at risk at the moment. Tieps maybe I could go for a lap or two more, but I think I think this might work out for SV5, you know. I think this will be definitely the lap that he pits. who is going to be the next person. I think it might be Chris. No, Chris will be pitting as well. Joe has to be pitting, surely. Joe's up to fifth. Skinzy, so Skinzy. I think he may become new race leader once these guys enter the pits. Or is he going to come out just behind? Or will SV5 come out just ahead? So he's into the pits now. Tieps, I 
don't know if that's tactical. I don't know if he's gone for the overcut, but he's stayed out. He has become the new race leader. <clears throat> Chris, Chris has chosen to stay out as well. Look at that gap there between TFs and Chris. That's a quite a big gap. They will definitely be pitting this time round. So SV5, how far behind Chris is he? Will he manage to regain the lead? He's managed to come out ahead of Skinzy. Syndra not too far behind him. Skinzy only a car length or two behind Syndra. Just filthy. He's there in sixth. He's a little way behind. Giles, seventh. Simon K. Brakes glowing on the Alpha. He's currently eighth. Joe Royal. He's back out in ninth. He hasn't changed them tyres, crucially. I'm not sure why. Maybe that was a mistake from Joe. Slimmy, he's going to get past him. He's up to tenth. Joe down to eleventh. The dude down in twelfth. So TFs and Chris, they've gone into the pits. Is SV5 going to be able to get back past them? Let's go on board and find out. I think he is. I think he's going to manage to get that undercut done. Nicely done. So he undercut some of the rest of the field. I mean, overcut some of the rest of the field and undercut these guys. So still in the lead of the race. Great strategy at the moment from SP5. He's now on fresh mediums. Syndra. Not too far behind him now though. He's actually currently holding the fastest lap as well for 128.4. If he can keep that pace up, he should be able to creep onto the back of SP5. We've got Skinzy, Skinzy being attacked now by TF. TF's having a bit of a moment in the background. Still comfortably a further at the moment. He's got Tieps. Tieps has dropped a little way off the back of him now. And we've got Giles. Giles getting the move done on Just Filthy. He's up to fifth place. Just Filthy dropping to sixth. He's also got a second's worth of penalty, so that's going to hurt his efforts somewhat once he has to serve that. What he's going to try and do is try and get past Giles. Try and create a bit of a gap so that penalty doesn't hurt him too much. He's not managed to get it done that time around, though. Giles driving really well at the moment. He's on fresh mediums now. He's got more fuel as well. He's got enough fuel to take him to the end. He's up to fifth place. Okay, so that is, the, that is a Genesis, isn't it? The wings at the front threw me off. I thought it was an Aston, but it's not at all. It is the Genesis. So that's the GT3 version. Cool looking car. So 
to Just Filthy. He serves that penalty. Simon K goes through. He takes that sixth position away. Just Filthy dropping the seventh. He may be at risk of losing that place to Chris as well. Chris is starting to creep up onto the back of him. And then we got Riava, that was, we just saw across the line. Coming up to turn one now. Slimmy, Slimmy's in 10th, but he's got a whole second's worth of penalty. Also on fresh mediums. The dude not far behind him now though, in 11th. He's managed to get past Joe. So Joe having a bit of a shocker in this one, in this second race. Now some way off the back of the dude. He's on a fresh set of softs. Oh, he forgot to change his tyres, didn't he? So I think maybe he wasn't confident that pitting on the lap that he did would take him to the end on the soft, so having to eat their mediums out for another couple more laps, which has in fact lost track position and lost a bit of time to the rest of the field. Is he gonna be able to do anything to limit that damage, maybe salvage a couple of positions? We'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile, SV5, he's still currently first place, but look at Syndra. Syndra starting to creep up onto the back of him now. He's going to be conscious of uh, Syndra in his rear view, I'm sure. Syndra technically on the faster compound as well. <clears throat> Oof. Sindra had a look up the inside. Close right up through that breaking zone. SV5 current off. We closed the door really late, didn't he? To be fair. Sindra keeps edging closer and closer. That gap that SV5 had started to form is falling away now. Did say with the pace that Syndra was showing, he was going to be within striking range, wasn't he? Within a couple of laps, and here he is. He's definitely within striking distance. Oh, Skinzy, Skinzy's into the pits. I'm not sure if that was his first one or. Maybe he'd underfueled slightly. Doesn't look like it, so I imagine he was going for long, a long strategy. I think maybe that's why. Yeah, Joe may still make up some places yet. That may be why Joe pitted when he did for the softs. Skinzy? Skinzy put wets on. In fact, it has started to rain. This could be a race changer for sure. Lap 22 with 32 minutes in, it has started to rain. Oh, these guys are going to have to pit and put wet weather tyres on. Or leave him chance it and stay out on the slicks. Skinzy went for a set of wets, didn't he? So maybe he knows something the other guys don't. And he is absolutely howling down out there. This looks like it is going to be weather akin to the qualifying, not the qualifying, the sprint race that we had. Oh, and SV5 goes really deep. He's gone really deep. Syndra, he's taken the lead. He's chosen to stay out, though. I think that was a mistake. He's also gone deep. SV5 has retaken the lead. Syndra going really deep. No, SV5 is actually into the pits. I think that was a, yeah, I think that was definitely a, an intelligent call there from SV5 to dive into the pits when he did. Syndra. He fancies staying out on the slicks. He's struggling for traction at the moment. Looks like Giles has dove, dove into the pits as well. I 
Oh, and he just can't get that car stopped. He can't get it stopped. It's got no turn in. Has Syndra just thrown this race away? I'm not sure. It does look like the skies are starting to brighten again. SV5 has just moved past. He's got some fresh wets on. Intermediates even. So Syndra back to second place. And he just cannot get that car turned. Simon K also on racing softs. He didn't fancy going into the pits. Riaba also looks like he's struggling somewhat though. Skinzy, he's on wet. He's starting to bear down on the back of Riaba. It may have been a good call from the other guys to go for wet weather tyres, but it does look like it has stopped raining out there now. Giles, he's out on intermediates. I think intermediates may have been the better call. From the guys going for the wet rubber tyres, Chris is also on wets. Just filthy, he's there on intermediates. It's definitely in the intermediate weather on track, isn't it, at the moment? It's just filthy, looking like he may be able to go for a move through these next couple of turns. So the dude, he stayed out on the softs. He's currently ninth. Slimmy stayed out on the mediums. He's tenth. Joe, Joe went in for a set of wets. He's currently eleventh, but he is catching up to Slimmy. Slimmy's got a penalty up ahead of him as well, so he may still be able to salvage a place. That's a whole second's worth of penalty as well. No, he's not quite managed to get past him, but that gap has closed up quite considerably. Ooh. Looks a bit squirrely through the final turn. Joe all over the back of Slimmy now. He should be able to go for a move up the inside. He has got the wet that's on, so he should have the grip on the wet, technically. And he has. He's managed to get that move done. Great move there from Joe. Slimmy just didn't have the grip, did he? On the mediums. Although it looks like Slimmy may be going for a move up the inside. They fought better of it. I think he's struggling to get a car stopped. As you see, he does go very deep in the background. So, yeah, Joe's moved through to 10th place. Slimmy dropping to 11th. SV5, he's on the intermediates. He's managed to create a bit of a gap now to Syndra, who is down in second place. He's on worn softs. Was that a brave call by Syndra to stay out on the softs? I'm not sure. Skinzy is now up to third place. He is on wet weather tyres, so definitely paying off, I think. But it does appear like the track is starting to dry up, so maybe maybe the guys who chose to stay on the slicks will have the advantage now. I think this is where the battle is going to be, though, isn't it? For second place between Skinzy in third and Syndra in second. You can see it is still quite wet on some parts of the track. Syndra almost having a tiptoe through turn two. Skinzy closes right up onto the back of him through turn three. He's going to be starting to want to cool down them tyres though, I'm sure. You see, he just looks like he's got more traction coming out of some of the turns due to them wet weather tyres, but then on some of the other parts of the track where it is drier, Sindra is starting to pull away again. See Skinzy moving over to the inside there to cover off Giles. Try and cool them tyres down a bit as well, I imagine, on the wetter part of the track. 
So Giles is all over the back of Skinsy now. He's looking for the move. Skinsy's going to have to cover that inside, and he is. He's covering it all the way up to the turn one. Giles goes round the outside. That was a cracker move there from Giles. Giles on the intermediates. And if anything, I would say that it is intermediate weather on track, isn't it? As opposed to wet weather track now. Or a full wet track now. So Giles now free to attack his teammate. I'm not sure whether or not he'll do that or whether he'll just cover off Skinzy. Still be decent points for the team. Two, three. Two podiums. I think SV5 too far up the road now for Giles to be able to start trying to attack him as well. So and this is going to be the final lap. It's a great strategy decision on display this evening from SV5. He's going to come around the final turn and take the chequered flag to make this a win in this second race. What an SV5, that was a cracking race, mate. Syndra, Syndra, he's going to bring him in second. Again, cracking race, great strategy from Syndra and Giles. It looked a bit sketchy at the moment for Syndra, didn't it? Skinsy fourth, just filthy fifth. Riaba is sick for Simon K. Oh, and big moment from Simon. Is Chris going to get past? Not quite, says so Simon. He's going to be seventh. Chris is eighth. The dude. Oh, no, the dude. The dude, he's lost it. He's lost it. He's going to lose that position to Joe. Come on, Joe. Can he keep it ahead? I think Joe's going to have it, isn't he? Is he going to have the momentum? No, he doesn't. So the dude is ninth. Joe is tenth. Slimmy eleventh. Well, that was race two, guys. That was the feature race from round eight with your tier two drivers from the Aero League races. I've been your boy Vexed. I will catch you in the next one. Good night.